everybody and welcome back to another video. I am The Hobbyist and today we have an update video for my Project RGT Rockhammer Crawler build. Um, it is almost finished and I got a comment on another video about this vehicle asking me to show you guys how to set up the four wheel steer on a radio. So I'm going to do that today but first I'm just going to run through everything that has changed since you guys last saw it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So off the bat, you can see we have new body panels from a Force RC hammer jaw. These are just the standard body panels. However, I have added proline axial and a very fun radioactive material sticker. And then I have kept the roll cage from the standard RGT crawler. And so I've just put kind of tape here that kind of looks, you know, reminiscent of real rock buggies. So lifting that off, you can also see in there, don't know if you can see that, but there are in fact LED lights under there so this lights up the interior at night just plugs in right there into a little adapter piece right in here so there you go so other noticeable changes automatically the tires i now am running proline hyrax 2.2 tires in g8 compound running on some of these chinese aluminum beadlock rims with weighted beadlocks uh, beadlock rings. Um, one note about these tires is the foams that come with them are very stiff. So what I've done is I've trimmed the foams internally. So now there's a little bit more squish and that's good for, you know, gripping onto slippery surfaces and stuff like that. Over at the front, we have got a hot racing metal steering arm. This was given to me by my friend and it keeps the steering nice and planted in the front, you know, the stock ones, they're kind of, you know, flexible. And this one, I put a turnbuckle in to adjust the rear since the geometry for a front axle is different than a rear axle. So I've just changed that and that works out great. I also have some of these scale uh, grapple hooks on the bumper now. So those are kind of fun. Anyway, moving on, we have metal shocks now. Um, I just, these are not like branded in any way. They are just aluminum shocks I got off of Amazon for like 20 bucks. Uh, really nice, you know, they work absolutely amazing. You just need to put oil in them and you're good to go. I have also put in underglow lights, front and rear. So these lights light up the axles at night and such, and those are not connected separately. Those just go straight to the receiver. Um, speaking about electronics, I now am running a Hobbywing Quick Run 1080 ESC crawler spec. And the reason for this is because my other ESC during a little crawling session with my friends kind of caught fire and well, it turned into, well, this. But other than that, nothing else has really changed. I have put a six channel receiver in here to compare with all the lights now, because it's got a lot more lights. You can see kind of a spaghetti mess of wires that goes up here. Still has tail lights and headlights, so that's great. But other than that, there's not much left that's going to be done to this. I'm going to be putting Axial SCX-10-1 uh, metal gears in the transmission, and then I also plan to put a Holmes Hobby Chromaster Sport brush motor in it, the 541 13 turn. And other than that, this truck will be completely done. It's super. I'm super excited to get this thing fully finished. It performs so much better than when I first bought it. Anyway, let's get on to the main focus of this video, which is going to be talking about how to set up your four-wheel steering on a Spectrum radio. All right, so in order to set up four-wheel steer on your Spectrum radio, I am using a Spectrum DX5C smart radio. Also, do you guys like my new steering wheel? It's an NTG Evolution steering wheel. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so what you want to do is go into menu and then scroll down until you find mixing. If you click into that, then there's going to be two options. There's going to be steering and then mix zero. You're going to want to click into steering. As you can see, it is active. Now, it's going to give you an option for dual servo front or four-wheel steer. You are going to want to click four-wheel steering, and then it'll bring you to this page. And it'll ask you, okay, which ones are your servos connected to? So for me, it's steering and auxiliary one. And then it's going to ask you, okay, what position do you want each of your modes to be. And position basically means position zero is what your steering is gonna be at default when you turn on your radio. So for me, when I turn on the radio, it's just gonna have front steer. And then if I click the switch that I've selected down, 
then it'll be four wheel. If I click it one more time, then it'll be rear wheel. And if I click it the final time, then it'll be crab steer. And you can switch whatever switch you want on here to connect to your four wheel steer. I have selected D. So on a spectrum radio, that is this switch right here. And it's very convenient for when you're steering and stuff, you can just click it and you know, it'll allow you to you know, make super sharp turns and whatever not. But that is basically it, you know, it'll tell you, okay, you can edit, you know, what auxiliary and what channels there are. It'll tell you percentage wise. And then it'll also ask you for your trim if you want to be active, which you most likely will because chances are if you don't have your servos synced up correctly, uh, front to rear, then it could result in uh, when it goes into four wheel steer, then your steering, you know, defaults like that for uh, your neutral and you don't want that so you just want to get that fixed but other than that that is all you need to do to set up your four-wheel steer thank you to for sending this comment very happy to help glad you enjoyed the video and there you go that is how you set up four-wheel steer on a spectrum radio and with that guys that's gonna do it for the video hopefully you enjoyed if you did Please hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment in the section below for what videos you'd like to see next. But that's all for today, everybody. Goodbye.